What if a greater number of Aboriginal women were successful entrepreneurs in the natural resource sector? What if a greater number of Aboriginal women took on leadership and executive positions in natural resource companies? What if this led to increased emphasis on the matriarchal character of Aboriginal society? What if these women took on a greater role in mentoring young Aboriginal women? What if this led to fewer opportunities for Aboriginal men as entrepreneurs, executives and professionals in the natural resource sector? Here's your scenario. After several years of frustration, a new mentorship program for Aboriginal women entrepreneurs and leaders was established in 2015. After the first two years of the program, most participants and government sponsors were quite pleased with it. However, some of the Aboriginal communities were concerned that the program was not inclusive enough. The program reflected the fact of the matriarchal nature of much of Aboriginal society and provided support for Native women's economic development aspirations. It became obvious that males were being left aside despite their need for similar support. They had started to call for the program to include them and their aspirations for equal access to opportunities in natural resources. The position of males was that since most opportunities in the natural resource sector were better suited to them, the resources devoted to the women's program could or should be split or diverted. 